All right, so check me out, guys. I'm going to be reacting to my referrals that I got in high school. I tried to pull up my elementary school and middle school referrals, but it wouldn't show up. Trust me, I was a badass kid in elementary school. But, um, yeah. So, basically, I'm on Manatee School's Focus. There's a tab that you can go to that says settings or information on child or some bullshit like that. And then I click on that, and you go to referrals, and then you can just do the year up there in the top. All right, so let's, let's go from ninth grade to 12th grade, which I am currently in. Let's do this shit. All right, so start in ninth grade. Ooh, okay. Fucking clean. That's what I'm talking about. I, I, ain't, I ain't causing no trouble. Tenth grade. Oh, shit. Um, before we even get started on this, I want you to realize one of my teachers I had, I'm not going to give out any names. You bitch. Yeah, um, if you guys want to see, you know, I, I, we fuck up sometimes, okay? But I want you to realize how much this teacher hated me as a person. Specifically me, and not anyone else in that entire class. She was a fucking cunt. To me, not anyone else. Here's, look, just here's some proof. Alright, so here's all the referrals I got in 10th grade. More than half of them, more than half of them, are from me. Also, if you look here, these are the dates. Look at that. She wrote me up twice in one day, and then she wrote me up two more times within a two-week span. What the fuck, man? That's bullshit. All right, so let's start off with Miss. That's the reporter. Let's start off. I was skipping fifth and sixth period. I guess that. Yeah, I I could tell you the story behind this one. Basically, at the time, I had a girlfriend. And I went to the dentist during the daytime. And basically what I did was I wasn't there because I had to go to the dentist first, second, third, fourth, fifth period. And then I had a sixth period, Miss Nichols. Luckily, I, I came in like halfway through that bitch. So I decided to skip that class and I went to lunch to go see my girlfriend. After that, I went and skipped. And I was like, yo, listen, it says in the attendance sheet that I wasn't here any other period the rest of the day. So then I thought, oh, well, shit, they're not going to know I'm here. Might as well just skip this class too. Went to sixth period. Her sixth period, not mine. Hers. Yeah. So, um, basically, I was wrong, and they caught my ass, and I got wrecked, kid. Thank you. Tardy to fifth period. Tardy? Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, listen. If I'm a teacher, I'm never writing you up if you're tardy. Unless you're, like, fucking, like, 20 minutes tardy. Then I'm gonna have to write you up. Or ask where you were at. It's a cool excuse that I'm not gonna write you up. But, alright, let's see. Again, the same day. The same day, let's see what she wrote me up for. And look at this, the times, 11.49, all right, that's cool, right? Literally, 19 minutes later, she wrote me up again. 19 minutes, are you fucking serious? Owen requested a pass to the clinic, saying he wasn't feeling well at 12.08. At 12.25, I called the clinic to confirm his attendance to the clinic. Really? What a twat. Student did not appear on the roster and apparently never made it to the clinic. Alright, check me out. So basically what I did was I went to the clinic, but it took me like 15 minutes to get there. One, because I was all the way across campus. Two, because I stopped by lunch to see my friends because I'm not in their lunch. So I was like, yo, what's up, homies? That's basically why it took me so long. But by, at the time that she called, I wasn't in there. But literally a minute later, I got in there, and the lady was like, hey, your teacher called. She wrote you up. I was like, are you fucking serious? That's bullshit. This is the second time he gets off at the wrong stop. He's getting off at Harrison Ranch instead of 30198 in Parrish. He has been told the first time he cannot do that. All right, that's that's my fault. I'm just going to take that L. I had a girlfriend at the time again. I wanted to go to her house after school and not mine. Cheating. I got a referral for cheating. Yep. Hiding cell phone under shirt during a test. No electronics are out, in, are out in this classroom. Listen, I was texting my fucking mother, okay? Are you okay with that? I can't text my mommy? Oh, I'm sorry. If I took your class seriously, I wouldn't have failed it. That just made me sound like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Forged past, tardy to class. Ooh, see documents. Well, check me out. I was late five minutes because I was walking my uh, girlfriend to class. Listen, my girlfriend got me in a shit ton of trouble. I just noticed that. Wow. But, I was walking her to class, and then I walked, I just fucking spread, I Usain bolted to my class, right? I was out of that bitch. But I didn't make it in time. I was, I was literally absent, or not absent, I was tardy for like two minutes, right? And I was just gonna have her sign my card. So, both of my slots on my card were already filled, like, instantly. So I thought, okay, well then let me just find a fake pass, sign it, and then you know what she does? 
she calls the teacher that I had forged, right? It turns out that I had I, I had found a JRTC pass in the hallway. I had wrote my name on it, like it was in pen, so I erased the name that was on it, wrote my name on it in pen, and outlined the JRTC in pen. So it looked pretty real. She had called JRTC and said, hey, did he come from here? They said, who's that? Fucking hell, man. So I got rolled up again. All right, let's go to 11th grade. Only four. That's not that bad, right? All right, let's see what we got. I got the first one is from the administration building for having no ID. That's listen. Having no ID is the biggest amount of bullshit I've heard in my life. Literally, I've bought five IDs last year and three this year, and it's literally not even the end of the first quarter yet. Eight IDs, five dollars a piece. Y'all are literally taking my money away. I haven't made that bank off of YouTube yet. All right, have not. It's just not a thing. Stop fucking robbing me. As as per Miss Laura Gonzalez told me, told by to report. All right, what the fuck is that? All right, basically they're saying I didn't show up to the testing site that I was supposed to show up to. It's not his fault. All right, I think that one got declined because I had to go to the guidance counselor and defend myself there. I didn't show up because on my pass, it had the date of like the next day, not the day that they said I was supposed to be. So I didn't show up because I was like, oh, well, um, it says to go tomorrow, not today. So I went right to the classroom. Nobody was there. Apparently, they changed my testing site without telling me and the date. So how the fuck was I supposed to know where to go and when to go? So they wrote me up for that. But I went to the guidance counselor, told her what happened, and she got it uh, solved. But apparently, in order to focus, it ain't solved. Student was out of seat roaming the back of the classroom. He was told he was getting other students activated and making noise. Telling them a story that was much more exciting than whatever I started teaching. <laughs> this was all at the start of class. I asked him to go outside so I could see to sit where I could see him. That's bullshit. You didn't tell me where to sit. You said go outside and stand underneath this podium-like place that's right next to his classroom. I did that. But apparently, the way I was like, I was standing, there's like, alright, so there's like four giant poles that support the roof of this place, right? And then there's benches, right? So I am like standing and leaning against one of the poles. So he can't see me, I guess, because I'm behind one of the poles. And he thinks that I'm hiding from him. Let's let's see what else there is. When I got the class going, I went out to, to collect him back in. What am I, a fucking, like, backpack? What am I, an item? Collect me? He was hiding behind a column of the gizaboo outside of my sight. Your sight? You mean your fucking classroom? Causing disruption, disobeying my authority. Your authority. Who are you, fucking Eric Cartman? Hey, I'm a cop! You will respect my authority. What's up? All right, so basically the referral part of this video is now over. I recorded that on Sunday and edited half of it on Sunday. I wasn't really gonna upload this video because it's not one that I, I, I didn't really enjoy it until I sat down, talked to a few friends about it, watched the back again myself, and then I was like, oh shit, that's actually pretty funny. So then I decided, oh well, fuck it, I'll just upload it anyway. A lot of you guys wanted to see this video. I, I put on Snapchat, hey. Do you guys want to see like a gaming video or me react to all my old referrals? But uh, this part of the video, I just needed to say that um, I put last night on my story, I was going to talk about a big announcement today. The big announcement being that I really, truthfully think I'm at the point in life where everything now is either about school, a job, or YouTube. Anything else other than those three, to me, honestly, doesn't fucking matter. Nothing. Other than, like, of course, my family and my closest friend. Other than that, like, parties, like, like, going out, you know, being a... Fuck that. That's just stupid. I'm at that point where I really just want to graduate. I want to get my diploma. I want to get a job so I can have some more money. So that way, when I get some money, I can go out and do really funny and really entertaining videos. That way I'm not just stuck in my room or at my house. Also, I'm working on getting my driver's license. For those of you who didn't know, I don't have my driver's license, actually. There's a whole reason why I don't have my driver's license, but that's for another video. But I'm at the point where I'm, I, I just want to, like, challenge myself. I look back at my channel, and you guys can do the same if you want. If you look at the upload dates, I only upload, like, maybe once or twice, maybe three times a week. And then I've recently started live streaming, and a lot of you guys love my live streams. So, I think to myself, if I really want this to happen, if I really want to grow on YouTube, I need to upload consistently. 
I'm gonna try to upload every single day. If I can't do that, I'm gonna end up if like if I can't upload a day, if I'm either I'm sick or I'm like at church or I'm at work or I'm at school one day and shit, I'm just having a bad day. Editing takes a long ass time, all right. It really does. It takes a lot of effort too. So if I can't make a video and edit in the same day, I'm just gonna live stream. Now that doesn't mean the days that I do have time to upload and stuff like that, I'm not gonna live stream. I'm gonna try to upload and live stream every day. But I'm saying is, you can always count on there being a live stream, unless like I literally can't live stream. It, it like and that's just beyond the point. Today my mother had a uh, surgery. It's a personal kind of surgery. I can't tell you guys what it was, but she's in a lot of pain right now. So that's what made me want to like get back into the fucking gear. I wanted to like tell myself, yo, quit the bullshit, get back to your channel. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, comment your thoughts below, subscribe, you know, tell your fucking grandma. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here and uh, I will be live streaming tonight. I'm going to be starting this Fable live stream series tonight. Basically a game Fable was my favorite game ever, like literally ever made. I even made a video on the company of Lionhead Studios getting fired from Microsoft. That's, that's just, you guys can go check that out, it's on my channel. But Fable is my favorite all time game and there's a lot of decision making in that game. So I want my viewers to be the ones that make all my decisions in game and then see what we can do while we progress. I thought it'd be a really fun idea. I'm gonna turn it turn it into a series until I complete the game. So other than that guys, I really had nothing else to say. I just wanted to add this onto the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the referral part. If not, I hope you guys can learn from this. I will be live streaming tonight. Uh, I don't know when, probably around uh, 8 or 9 o'clock, I, I still have other shit to do, I gotta clean my room, I gotta take a shower, eat, go see my mom for a little bit. Other than that, I ain't got nothing else. Shit, what, uh, uh, you, see, you see this? You see, you... Yeah. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did, like, let the thumbs up, comment, sub, bye. Hold up.